Hey guys, I am back again for another review of Jurassic World Dino Rivals, and once again I'm taking over for QH Films because, you know, I have no idea why my little brother doesn't want to do that much reviews again, but anyways, enough of that. Anyways, I'm going to be reviewing the battle at Big Rock Allosaurus. Yep, it's here. Also a side note, when I'm be doing the battle at Big Rock Allosaurus review, Apparently, the background has obviously changed. Now you just see vehicles over here because, well, I got nothing else to figure out at this point. I'm not going to use the uh, Fallen Kingdom backdrop or the Legacy Collection backdrop that I usually use or anything. But I'm just going to go straight up just use vehicles or just this black screen of a TV over here. Okay, that's just the little, that's just a little thing I needed to let you know about. And as usual, before we start looking at this figure, we got to look at the package. Now... The same package that we always get, but with a difference. So obviously we have Jurassic World logo right there. The demonstration of the figure's action features. The whole set of the Tyrannosaurus Rex logo and the colors there. But then you got the new purplish blue. Like the purplish blue colors they used just for this. As seen on Battle at Big Rock, as we know. Rexy, Don Rivals, Triceratops, and there's no Owen Grady. Because, well, at this point it, at this point it would make sense. Because... As much as I still like Owen Grady, there's no point of adding him in without Claire Deering, so I think this would make sense to actually, you know, not have him in the package at this point. But yet again, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just saying this because it's my opinion. Dual Attack Allosaurus, Dino Rivals logo there, Jurassic World logo on this side. Oh, it went out of focus, but we'll try to fix that. And over here, we have the rundown of the action feature and the um, Allosaurus itself in this really glamorous looking picture right here. It actually looks pretty cool. The um, Allosaurus biting into the, um, oh crap, I don't even know where to pronounce that dinosaur's name again, but I'll just go and I'll find that one out later. And the, uh, the Pseudoceratops and Concave and Aetory paint down there. Seen those at the store. And he got the collector's card, which we already took out. The compatibility of the Jurassic World facts up and the logo again. And that's basically it for this package. Let's go on to the figure itself. Taking a look at that gorgeous freaking head sculpt. Look at that. As much as I like the original Allosaurus, this one harkens back to both the 2013 Hasbro version and I guess it's a comp, they're like making a combination of the 2018 Mattel Allosaurus and putting in the 2013-ish like scale of like the bridges and everything. The uh, spikes on the top all over the place. Literally the detailing on that from there. And that head sculpt included. Let's just close the mouth. Look, that is just beautiful. I really do like that head sculpt. Although it's kind of different, and like not that different. Uh, difficult for me to even choose which one I prefer because I like both the original and this Allosaurus. So, also the paint details. Uh, let's just say let's talk about the paint details for a little quick. Um, they still kept the uh, blackish blue tongue, I guess. They still kept that, which is okay. I like that. It's kind of unique. There's no paint. I guess there's no paint on the other side. Nope, not, not there. There's no paint on the underbelly, which is kind of lacking, but eh, I don't care. And then the uh, paint on the blue, the blue part is actually pretty cool. You got this, uh, well, you got the regular blue, and then it gets a little darker, a lot darker, and then it gets lighter again from each and every side. You might not see it that much on camera. I mean, we can see it a little better, what, not on camera, but it's really freaking beautiful how they uh, implemented the uh, bluish colors. And the, um, yeah, that, that's pretty cool. Again, you got the ridges and detail there, the scales. There's, there's scratches over here you can see as well. Never gotten into, I never got into seeing scratches on most of the toys, except when I do, I just don't address them. It doesn't really matter. Oh yeah, and the, the eye paint is also painted in very well on this one. I'm on the, um, I guess you can say the right side. Is it the right side? I'm, the, I'm on this side. And then here's the other side. The eye is, uh, perfect, I guess. I think it is. Maybe it is. Again, there's the head sculpt. Again, it's really amazing. Just looking at the whole entire posture and proportions of the figure, it is both good, but then it's also kind of flawed. But I think this is the Allosaurus. That, this is probably a reason why I didn't want to pick up this Allosaurus. Mainly because it has some balancing issues. Just, it's just probably this model alone that my little brother has uh, gotten. It's like, Especially when this leg here is kind of loose. I mean, it's not horrid, but it's just that it's just making the figure slightly fall down all the time. 
I can't pose it in the other side. I was just standing up a little bit. Again, detailing from here to here. The ridges. I think this scratches. Yep, scratches. The paint from here. Uh, yeah, everything about it is great. Except for the tail, because it's a little too short. And it's also loose. To, uh, okay, it's not... Again, it's not horribly loose, but it's like... Very, like... Flimsy, to the point it was like... This is how it looked like in the package. And then when you try to uh, reposition it, that's how it looked. I bet, like... I don't know why they had it like that in the package, like this, but that's fine, I guess. But still, kind of disappointing that it's uh, kind of loose and it's just kind of short because the whole figure is front heavy. And this thing's got a huge head to the point where it's kind of, it's like it keep falling down. The pose of the figure is the same as the original Allosaurus from 2018, except what the minor difference is being uh, bulkier than the original. Having a bigger head, a new head, obviously, and having the spikes on there. I don't even own the original yet, but I really wish I had one. Because I can't wait to buy one. I thought we were supposed to get this Allosaurus in the red paint scheme of the Metro Canthosaurus, but I guess that's changed. So yeah, paint, sculpt. I say the paint is good, but could have been better. And the um, posture of the figure could have been better as well. They could have just probably re sculpted or just do a new sculpt. But it is like slightly a new sculpt, but it's also a retool. But yeah, I I'm fine with the retool. But it's just that I wish it would have probably been better with tighter leg joints and a, I guess a better tail than this one. And the head should have been a little shrunk. Also, the teeth detailing is really good. I never mentioned about the teeth, but the teeth is really good. The original Allosaurus did have these big cartoonish teeth like the Spinosaurus, but it didn't really looked that terrible to me it's just that it was really huge this is a great allosaurus because of the teeth because of the way the posture and head and the teeth are but despite the head being so huge it's just so good and there's two action features on this dinosaur press this front run right here and the mouth will open and close could just probably choose the other way around but whatever this one's still good chopping feature and the second button behind it it's a slashing feature this is more like a grabbing feature at some degree <laughs> Even though he can't really grab anything from where his jaw is like located because, you know, he's not the Indominus Rex. But he's still pretty cool. Slashing feature and the biting action does work, so they do work on their own right. Here's the scan code right down there and the logo from Jurassic Park and Jurassic World down there. And let's go take a look at the collector's card and oh my goodness, this collector's card. This Allosaurus looks pretty badass on this card. I really do like it more on the collector's car posture because his head is not as big as the actual figure. I mean, the figure's head is huge. But this one has better proportions. Literally, how come we didn't get it that way? I don't know. Anyways, like, they also always look pretty dang great in this uh, picture with the yellow background from uh, other figures that I've reviewed. And then you got its stats. You got strength, seven. Speed, seven. Same as strength. Is not so smart at a three. And it's really, really aggressive. I mean, not like at a 10 out of 10, but it's 8 out of 10, but that's still pretty dang strong. And then at the back of the card, Nine Rivals and Jurassic World and Trademark logos, and, well, I think you know the drill. I like the background. I address that a lot on my other channel. Alright, that's gonna be it for this review of the Jurassic World Battle at Big Rock Allosaurus. It's pretty cool, but it does have some disappointing qualities, but I still recommend buying it despite that. And again, if you, um, do buy this figure at least don't have the same problems as i am but i think you probably have the same problems that we are having right now <laughs> but again the figure still got good qualities looks like it's got a great sculpt even though the head is too big it's got some uh lacking on the uh, underbelly paint job but it doesn't really matter and it's also got some uh probability standing and this leg is too short so just making sure not to make him fall down Again, this is a really great figure, though, despite having the problems it has. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you guys for tuning in to QH Films for this review.